none of us can never be prideful or cocky because we never chased this mm-hmm. at all. And I think many people missed their microphone because they was looking for a big bit. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the More Purpose Podcast. We talk everything from faith to finances. I'm your host, Claren. And your co-host, Marlon. And today we are back with another episode. Let's clap it up, fellas. Let's go! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man, 50 episodes? 50 episodes. Crazy. Midlife crisis right there. Listen, <laughs> I never thought we would have got this far, but we here by the grace of God. We made it 50 episodes. Yeah. And it's been such a fast but short time at the same time. Yeah. Like, it's been crazy. Like, it feels like we've been doing this for forever. It does. But then... Not long it, enough. It's not long exactly. enough. Yeah. It's, nah, it's been fast. under... It's only been like a year and a half. Wow. Which is really wild. Yeah. God is amazing. He is. Yeah. We is couldn't have done it without him. Nah, for sure. <laughs> And for those that's wondering who our two guests here, y'all should know them. They are familiar faces. As y'all know, my boy Ryan was on the finance episode. And yeah. then my boy Ryan, he was on the gifts episode with Natural. And that jank was crazy. Both episodes was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And it's been a minute since y'all been on the episode. It's Listen, been a year for it's me. Been a year. It's been a year for you? Yeah, it's been a year. January last year, actually. That's crazy. Y'all weren't on the episode, but y'all was included in every episode. Hey. I mean, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. I like that. Yeah. Matt, yeah. let's dive deeper into that. So for those that don't know who these two wonderful gentlemen are, one, the two brothers that... It's ironic that they're two brothers and me and my yeah. two brothers, two sets. So it's just crazy how God works in general. But Ryan, to my left, I met Ryan in high school. Yeah. yeah I met Ryan in high, high school, school, but we yeah. ended up crossing paths at VCU when, we, when I went to college my one year. Y'all know the story. My one mm-hmm. year in college and everything. <laughs> and from there, me and Ryan just connected because I realized that he was, he was a photographer and video and everything. I was as well. And then meeting Ryan came from Ryan and Ryan reaching out to me as far as Seen, I was doing my sellers media stuff, my photography uh, stuff, and Ryan came and said, "Yo, you should ha- you should have a day in life video, but we want to do it. We'll do it free of charge." Yeah, it's cool too. I said, "Yeah, lock. Who am I to tell you no to a free video?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, "Bet. Let's see what you got. Let's see what yeah. you can do." Not not even realizing that I need content like that on top of that. Mm-hmm. So they pulled it to the crib, started filming. As soon as they did the first angle of the, of the video, I saw, "Yeah, they're official." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they crazy with it. At since that day, it's been up ever since, and. Literally, y'all know, Ryan does all the scripts, all the, the creative planning from the videos, the, yeah. the different camera angles and the outlooks of how all the short form content and everything looks. Mm-hmm. That's my boy Ryan. My boy Ryan be cooking up. Yeah. And he don't even be here in, he don't even be here like in the studio. Yeah. Like, he be in Richmond cooking up from home. Like, that thing is really crazy. And it's just a blessing because for God to know to put certain people in your life to help out with the vision that he's given uh, me and Marlon. It's just been it's a, it's been a beautiful thing because Ryan has also been helping with the actual like how to say the words, how to yeah. deliver them, how to basically help carry the emotion into the videos he's, that we've been. He's a poet. Like, nah, he, no, no, <laughs> Ryan's really a poet. They're like get at him yeah. <laughs> immediately. And my boy Ryan, Mister Behind the Scenes, that y'all do it all. Mister Everything. Do every, he do yeah, everything? Yeah, yeah. He's super, he's Daniel Superman. Like my boy really does everything from setting up the cameras to the the angles yeah. to the actual like the plot of how the lighting and everything is gonna be associated. Everything y'all can think of to the editing, to the sound, to the audio, like my boy Ryan does it all. And it's yeah. really just a blessing. We're thankful for both of y'all Facts. because oh, this vision wouldn't be possible without y'all two. Hey. They are the they they holding us up. They yes. they, they, they the foundation, they part yeah. of the foundation here. So without them, y'all would not be seeing anything on Instagram. Ryan is Mr. Social Media Manager at this mm-hmm. point because he handles <laughs> the majority of everything on the social medias yeah. and everything. And it's just a blessing to have y'all because I promise y'all we would not be able to do it alone. At all. And we just thank y'all for even helping with serve the vision because yeah. y'all are appreciated. Y'all are Love and we just can't wait to see where yeah, God takes it. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Ain't gonna leave me hanging. Hey, 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 we love y'all, man. Yeah, we appreciate sir. y'all. On that note, though, it's a uh, blessing just to to be able to be trusted with the vision, mm-hmm. and so we want to thank y'all for trusting us to help carry out the vision. In the oh, first of course, place. Yeah, yeah, I would say like I've gotten. I wouldn't even be in a position I have. I wouldn't have the job I have right now outside of this wow. if it wasn't for serving this. You know, so it's given me the credibility. It's given me the opportunities. It's allowed me, like, I wouldn't have the job I have now if yeah. I wasn't in Tulsa. And I wouldn't be in Tulsa if yeah. I never served in the first place. Wow. So it's like how everything lines up. Man, God got a crazy plan. So God's I'm, strategic. He's so strategic, bro. <laughs> well, so I strategic. Can, and I can honestly say all of our lives have actually gotten better because of this one vision. And God gave you the vision, actually. So mm-hmm. we can kind of start right there. We can segue into that. Um, I know with every call that God gives people, it always comes with a a higher call to living. 
Mm-hmm. So when you first got the call to start a Christian podcast, because we've been Christians all our <laughs> life, that's it, a, important emphasis on that. Yeah. But a podcast where people are going to see your life, they're going to hear what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I know that is a call to higher living. Like, God, do I really want to do this? What was going on through your head when you got asked to do that? First of all, when God gave me the dream and said, yo, start a podcast, start a Bible study, I said, you have the wrong guy because that's not me. Yeah. One, God, I'm not ready to, to lead the world alone. That was the biggest thing. Hey, I was, hey, run that back. Run that back. Let's, say, yeah, let's say that again. Yeah. Let's say that again. <laughs> I told God I wasn't ready to leave the world alone. Yeah. I didn't feel like I got to live out my childhood how all my friends got to. Yeah. And just and when I finally started to become grown, where I can do my own thing a little bit, have a little bit of more freedom, I was like, all right, hold on, God. Like you call me to do this stuff right when I'm getting to that point mm-hmm. where I'm an adult now. I can actually <laughs> have free. I can stay out late if yeah. I want to now. You know what I'm saying? Nobody can tell me to come back to the mm-hmm. house. So God, I don't really know if I want to step into that responsibility yeah. that you're trying to bestow upon me. But at the same time, that was during the season of where I was really in an intimate relationship with God, like on a one-on-one. And the excitement I had for the when I first got my first Bible, my first handheld Bible, again, like you said, we've always been yeah. like in church our whole life. We've mm-hmm. always been Christian our whole life. But at the same time, after college is when I first really initially got into my word, like genuinely. And right during that time was when I had the the heart posture of, dang, what if everybody felt God's presence like this? Mm. Mm-hmm. What if everybody got to witness the feeling I'm feeling right now, the excitement I have right now? You know, when you go buy your first handheld Bible, but you do not want to put that Bible down. Like, hey, listen. Yeah. matter of fact, you want to buy every version of it at yeah, that point. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. that was me. I had bought like three extra Bibles because I was like, bro, I want to see how God talking to each one of these. Like, I want to really get into, in relationship. And from there, when God gave me the vision and the dream, it was like a God, I don't want to, but at the same time, I know you're going to qualify me along the way. Mm-hmm. I'm not the best at speaking. I know I stutter. I talk fast. And I know that I don't. I have a, I had a fear of public speaking at the time. Yeah. But at the same time, on the other hand, he made me realize that you already have a platform where you already use your voice. People already listen to you. People already look up to you. People already look, go to you for motivation, for inspiration. Yeah. Do the same thing, but do it for me instead, mm-hmm. instead of yourself. Mm-hmm. So that was where everything turned around. I said, all right, God, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it on. I'm gonna take the assignment on. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna obey because let me tell you something. Disobeying God is not the way. Oh, yeah. hey, Don't listen. do it. Yeah. <laughs> obey the first and, time. And actually going back to what Ryan said and how the podcast impacted all of us, what if you disobeyed? Where would our lives be? Boy. And, look, and, yeah, <laughs> like, look at this, look at this, look at this. That's crazy. Boy, I was waiting on this one. All right. <laughs> so when you look at the woman with the issue of blood, how she got healed, right? Mm-hmm. It's because Jairus, I was thinking I'm saying his name right, um, Jairus, um, he came to Jesus and said, my daughter yeah. is passed. Mm-hmm. I need you to bring her back to mm-hmm. life. So him enacting on his faith, Jesus was on the way, and, and that brought oh, yeah, the crowd. Yeah. And then the woman with the issue of blood who had faith had the opportunity to enact on her faith. Mm-hmm. So it's like, Crazy. we wouldn't be, you know, we're the woman with the issue of blood, and, yeah. and you're, you're Jairus, where it's like, you had the faith to enact on that. Mm. And that allowed us now. To act so, your and faith, the thing yeah. is, the crazy part, right. woman issue of blood had an issue for 12 years. And Jair's daughter was 12 years old. Yeah. So it's like, it's directly connected. You mm-hmm. feel me? That's ODE. It's just a beautiful thing. I didn't get that out right now. That's actually wild. <laughs> yeah, it's not, that's crazy. <laughs> just get started. Hold on. <laughs> Jesus. But I feel like that's where like the, the I guess the pressure in a way, like comes off you in a way. So like, mm-hmm. in that situation right there, right? Like how you said, imagine if I never said yes to the call. Yeah. I feel like the blessing comes from when God, well, not when God told me, but when you can see the fruit of your yes. Mm. Mm. So when I, told, when I told the Lord yes and was like, all right, cool, God, I got you. We're going to do this. We're going to start the Bible studies. I don't care how small it is. Start off with just my friends in the inner circle. It was just two or three of us on FaceTime. Mm. I felt it was just me, Bryce, and you yeah. on FaceTime or me, Bryce, and someone else, JP. It or might have been Luke. <laughs> yeah, Luke. Yeah, like yeah. it was three of us on the phone, and that grew into... 10 people on FaceTime, then the max of what you can do on FaceTime. And then after that, it grew into um, in person. Everybody meet up at the studio, had like 10, 15 people at the studio, then 20 people at the studio. Then we had to start doing Zooms because people wanted to call in and hop on the call. So I started doing Zooms, had like five people on Zoom, just sitting up there. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy to think back because, like you said, if I would never say yes, how many souls that have met Christ since that yes will have not been saved mm-hmm. in the time frame that they needed to be saved, basically? Yeah. Or how many people's lives were on the line, but my obedience led to God actually be able to pour into them. Yeah. Or if I didn't, if I never would have started even doing like the motivational stuff on Instagram and everything, what have what have I even had the confidence to do what God said if I wasn't already doing what He had told me to do with the motivational, inspirational stuff? Yeah. Because at the same time, it's basically the same thing, but just implementing God's word and actually doing it for the kingdom versus doing it for myself, like I said before. So it's just crazy to look back on and actually experience because would I even know y'all like? Yeah. <laughs> And 
I think the timing was actually very intentional because around that time that you offered to do the YouTube video, mm -hmm. you were kind of on the rise, like you said, from the no videos. Cap. No cap. You were kind of on the rise of like, when I say public figure, I'm not saying like you, like you, you was just, you was on the elevator up. Like yeah. Yeah. everybody was starting to know you for photography. You was posting on your story and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So the timing was already impeccable. Yeah, like yeah, you said, yeah. you may not have been fully living for God, but it was like, yeah. You was making progress, and the mm -hmm. guy was like, you know, I'm gonna send somebody along. It was a divine encounter, you mm -hmm. know. So, talk about that. Way. How you like? How did they get started on the podcast? So it's crazy because right that I dropped out. Ryan was still in Richmond at VCU, yep. but Ryan, did we lean back up at a church or something? Like, where was we at? I can't even remember. I think um, I think I, we had linked back up somewhere, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and it's, it's, I don't know what's wrong with always the, in the studio. Um, I don't know what yeah, he put the studio. We, we did the creative shoot. There you go. Yep, with Nat and all of us. Yep. So Ryan would help out with yeah. all the photography stuff that we would do b between me and Natural. We would do like collab photo shoots. And Ryan would do all the behind the scenes videos, the edits and everything for the content. And from there, I had told Ryan, yo, like, what do you think about um how do you do podcast stuff? Like, do you know mm. how to do the audio? And I had everything? no idea. And, <laughs> and walking in obedience, I knew it wasn't gonna get done unless I bought the equipment. Yeah. Remember that? Because I, yeah. like, I, I was like, I'm going to just buy it. <laughs> I asked mom, I was like, bro, you want to do this podcast? Mom I was like, I'm going to get back to you. So then, <laughs> I was like, well, I'm going to buy the equipment because I know if I don't buy the equipment, it's not, it's not going to ever get done. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if I buy the equipment, there's no excuse not to do it. Yeah. yeah. And we already had the studio. We already had the space. We already had the lighting and everything. As long as we buy these mics, it's going to have to get done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then from there, Ryan started helping out, started setting up mics and everything. I remember our first episode. It was like six of us on the episode, seven yeah. of us on the oh, episode. I, I, I didn't even know this was supposed to be a video podcast at the time. Because I don't think a podcast, I'm like, oh, audio. And I'm, so I, and I'm over here thinking this is going to be a video. I John. set up the mics. I'm like, I'm going to just record the clips to send people to the audio mm -hmm. and not record the whole thing. But we get done the first episode, see, I was like, uh, you record the whole thing? I was like, nah, brother. <laughs> hey. I thought it was just clips, yeah. but I got you. So that's why the first episode doesn't exist. That's why the yes. first episode yes. don't yes. exist. Yes. Yes. I, didn't know that. Looking for it? I, had, I was no. like, bro, we yes. don't have a first episode. episode two. Why is it only oh, episode yeah. two? Yeah. First on YouTube, we only start talking about episode two. Got you, got I, did, got I didn't know about video podcast <laughs> at the time. <laughs> yeah, that's I was like, crazy. just audio. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Think about, though, like the growth from the first episode of Night doing video, like things are going to be straight audio. Having by accident. To letting it flow all the way into video. Like wow, nah, it's just blew my yeah, mind. Yeah, it's all been a learning experience. Like, how how far? Well, how much have you think you learned in such a short time? Oh, so much because I had to listen. And, <laughs> and, and once you get to a place where um, you in a position where if you don't learn it, it won't succeed the mm -hmm. way you feel mm -hmm. it should succeed. Mm -hmm. You gonna force you forced to learn. Yeah, and it helps that I love video too. So. Yeah. Me for learning, it was like, oh, this is just normal. Like, I want to be excellent. I want to be great at it. So I should be able to learn and put the time and effort in to make this the best thing that it possibly could be. You know, you know well, go ahead. I think that is very crucial, and somebody needs to actually hear that because people want to be great in so many different fields, and they don't have a blueprint. Mm -hmm. And you just said you didn't have no education on podcasts, no awareness of anything you was really yeah. supposed to be doing, yeah. but you figured it out, you know? Yeah, yeah. And some people, you just need to figure it out. You was you was outside of the boat, no mm -hmm. life vest. And it's like, listen, if I don't do it, it ain't getting done. Where so, there's a will, there's yeah, a way. There's a will, there's a way. <laughs> and I wanted to talk, and talk about the aspect of how crazy it is, how in my mindset, I was all cameras and everything. So going from all cameras to having to basically like rewire my mind to, you know, you have to be on camera now versus mm -hmm. actually taking a video or taking a picture. Yeah, and kind of that it was like a, a weird path I had to walk on. Yeah, basically like having to be comfortable with, of letting Ron do all the like navigating and filming and mm. yeah. and basically all the posting and stuff. It's like yo, I'm I'm used to doing all that myself. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it was a weird thing to like delegate in a way. Yeah, and then we basically got to watch each other real time of like the growth aspect because back then again, if y'all watched the first episode compared to now. The talk completely different. Way different. Everything is different. Everything, is different. everything is different. Every single, from audio to quality everything. to yeah. communication, everything is different. Yeah. The energy, everything. <laughs> and, and this is not to say that we're not still students of the game because all yeah, of us yeah, are still sure. learning. Yeah. Like, even at the pace we're at now, at 50 episodes, I think it's very scary. And honestly, I feel like this is the most dangerous, like, it's going to get for the, yeah. for the kingdom of darkness because, yeah. listen, this is only 50 episodes. And and imagine, like, like <laughs> you really even touch. Yeah, that. like ima imagine we, 200. We rookies in the game, right? Yeah, now. we yeah, are. Right. We are. Yeah. So yeah. Nah, bro, I would say, like, crazy. for me, the craziest thing learning, it's like social media is different. Mm. Like it is a whole different beast. So 
my mind, okay, I went to school for marketing because I was like, which it's so crazy how like strategic guy nah, is. Because so I was doing <laughs> video, I've been doing videos since I was like 12 years old. Yeah. I, mean, I got like 10 years in a game, which to people be like, wow, that's yeah. crazy. Like, no. you're, you're 22. Like, how long have you been doing photography? This long? <laughs> 10 years? That long? Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but it's like, you know, I started that, and it's because my dad forced us to, and I didn't want to. I did not want to at all. Same way you didn't want to do the podcast, yeah. same way I didn't want to do video. Yeah. I hated it. And then I realized like I had I had an avenue there. I had it some somewhere there. I found it, I figured it out. And then I thought I was just gonna be a videographer. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna be a videographer. Like, I'm you know, produce films and stuff. Like, you know, that's gonna be my thing. And then it got to the point where like I wasn't doing anything. And I'm like, why am I not doing anything? I feel like I'm called to do this. Like, why am I not doing anything? But like and not until I think because Ron was doing the clips at first. Yeah. And then, and then we had know, that one we that went talked. viral. Where yeah. It's like guys <laughs> in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all know that one, man. That was like great <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that so I think me and Ron were just up. talking, and I'm like, hey, like, I can help you out, bro. Like, you editing the, the, the clips and you're doing the full yeah. ed- podcast yeah, I'm, I'm videos. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that's a lot of work. I, yeah. I know that's a lot of work. Let me do it. I'm doing nothing right now. I'm cool. Like, I might as well do something, right? Um, and so I took that, it to man, another just, level too. Nah, but, I am boy. boy. <laughs> if I was still doing the clips, we wouldn't have blown up the way. <laughs> and the timeline would have been a little slower, oh, way slower. Man, yeah, yeah, it wasn't allowing you because you would have been sure. one man doing everything. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So I just credit I credit God giving me the mind that He gave me um, because this is how me and Ron always we always have a, a great tag team thing where he's a technical guy and I'm the creative person. So like a lot of times we even sit back and like I'll edit. Like mm-hmm. he'll be editing, but I'll be standing over top of him, like, yeah. put this there, put this there. He's like, yeah. bro, you really think that? I'm like, bro, I'm telling you, it's going to work. Mm-hmm. So, like, for me, I'm now enacting that every time I'm doing the clips. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing two minutes of stuff, and I'm, like, refiguring things out and yeah. putting the end to the front and the front to the back and changing all this stuff to make a new, different story in a short way. Mm-hmm. And, like, I don't know, like, it's just crazy how, like, God unlocked that for me. But then going into that, I'm writing the scripts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Then I really figured out. That's my call. Yeah. I'm supposed to be a writer. I've always been a poet, and I just thought, you know, that was a way for me to get ladies and stuff. Like that. Boy, <laughs> that was that was the pen, man. He was using that gift for himself. <laughs> I was using that gift for the world. <laughs> Manipulating um, the gift is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I promise you. Like, I, I, I put the crazy stuff together. Um, and then I was like, man, like, I really got a knack for this. Yeah. And man, here we are now. Like, I can write in my sleep now, and it's like at any time, like. First off, I always give credit to God because it's never like me. He's just allowing mm-hmm. me. He, he's the most creative person that ever mm-hmm. existed. Creative being, he is creativity, right? So I just thank God for allowing me to use him as a, a vessel. And every time, anytime that I need something or need ideas, bro, I open the Bible. Hello. Like literally, when your mind gets flat mm-hmm. as creators, open your Bible yeah. and just read. Yeah. And it's gonna tell you. It's gonna literally tell you a story. And you just go figure out how can I retell this story in a different way, or how can I inspire someone? What's the message in this? What's yeah. the you know what are you learning in this? And I feel like that's really all creativity is like it's reusing this. My boy Ron Stallings, uh, yeah, Stallings? yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout Ron, out Ron, 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 my brother. He said he said um, creativity is just reusing the same stuff in different ways. Wow. Mm-hmm. And he was like the same this stuff is is here, is all there. Mm-hmm. And it's just how you tell it. Yeah. And I was like, man, wow. Like he was like, that's how I look at everything. And it inspires me. How how can I redo this? How can I redo that? Mm-hmm. And that's all we're doing. We're just reintroducing the Bible in different ways, yeah. in different forms to people. So yeah, man. That's crazy. Now this has been amazing. Um, I think one of the things that I love the most is that both of you guys basically got on this podcast because y'all was looking for work. You wasn't originally on the podcast. Yeah. You I came on like episode three. Yeah. You had yeah, nothing going three. on. You asked your brother, yo, let me help you yeah. with your work. You know, like yeah. looking for work. That's faith without works is dead, you know? So you're looking and I'm sure if I'm not mistaken, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Around that time, were you guys asking God to like align you with his will? And where, where do you want me to be? Like I was, I was I'm going to tell you, I was all out of God's will. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I was all out yeah. of God's will. Um, And so for me, I like, the episodes blessed me. Like mm-hmm. as I was editing, I was getting wow. blessed. So even when like I when I do this, like when I do the clips and I'm re-watching them over and over again, I'm not re-watching them because I'm like, oh, is this gonna get the most clicks? Is this gonna get the most likes or the most shares? I'm like, this is gonna bless somebody. Yeah. yeah. So I watch it and it's a sense of like God allowed us to bless me, clear my mind of everything. I'm gonna watch this just how it is. And if it blesses me, I know it's gonna bless yeah. one other person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's literally my whole aspect of the clips. 
and he just allowed me to have a certain st- strategy in my mind how I consume content mm-hmm. and how I like actually can dissect things yeah. in my mind without even really trying to. Um, and then like in the back in the background, yeah. um, that allows me to apply it when I'm doing the clips. But at the same time, I mean, there is a strategy to blessing people, and mm-hmm. you know, I feel like I'm thankful that God just allows me to see that. Now, that's very true because when Ryan is in Richmond, and because we send the audio and everything gets sent over to him. Thanks. He would text us in the group chat after he's watching. He'd be like, yo, y'all spaz. This, <laughs> this little time point right here, this is a clip. Like, <laughs> he texted us last week after the episode we did. He said, listen, I got 10 reels for y'all. I'm like, do your thing, bro. My boy was locked in. He was yeah. up to like 3 o'clock in the morning sweating, yeah. like pushing stuff out, like off pure spirit of, yeah. of, the, of the excitement of the yeah. video. It's yeah. like, yo, y'all really like, Holy Spirit was talking good on the episode. Yeah. yeah. I love those moments. Like, I just love like the whole aspect of how unconventional this really is mm-hmm. of how we're spreading the gospel. Like, yeah. We're four young black men on a mic, Bro. not at church. Like we're yeah. like in a studio, spreading the gospel to yeah. thousands of people around the world, millions around the world. Millions like, are we reaching millions every month? That's crazy, crazy. yeah, like crazy, bro. Like, we, it's, it's, I think it's an honor. This is like, and it's not to brag. Since what? June. It's January now. Since, since June, we have not had a, a month under a million people reached. Wow. Are you serious? Bro, I'm telling you. Nah, that's like, that's wild. Souls, bro. That's souls, man. Mm. But again, that's that goes to show you how big the responsibility is. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. how big the assignment is and how we have to really take the assignment serious. Mm-hmm. Like, again, going back to the first thing I told God when he asked me, he was like, yo, when I asked him, when he told me, start a podcast, do Bible studies and everything. I'm mm-hmm. listen, brother. I'm not ready to stop sinning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep the buck. <laughs> I want to get into that because I was going to say, what was your biggest fear of starting the podcast? Mm. Because I think that might have been mine. I feel like what came with the podcast, like I asked you, it came with a, a higher call to living. Mm. I couldn't do that no more. Yeah. Life under a, a magnifying glass. And I wasn't saying it like, oh, I just did the podcast. Or I didn't want to do the podcast just because, like, oh, I didn't want to let go of this lifestyle. But, you know, when you're sinning, it's like... It feels good to sin. It does. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It feels the truth really of the matter. Good. It feels good and this to is sin. real. <laughs> it feels good to sin. And when God calls you, it's never at your convenience. Mm-hmm. But sin is, just, sin is just a slow death. It is. Slow death. And But most of us don't want to let it go, though. Mm-hmm. But, bro, it's really crazy because it felt, it really felt like practice as far as, like, when I was doing my sales media stuff, my photography stuff, and building up that profile, I had already had to start navigating myself as far as, like, all right, you can't post this, you can't show this, you can't mm-hmm. do this, you can't do that because... Your brand is your name. Yeah. So it was basically like God was already giving me practice for that. It yeah. was like a, all right, I'm going I'm to put you into this new outlook, put you under this new uh, lifestyle and this under this new um, type of exposure. But you already had the practice of knowing what to post, what to say, not to say, all that stuff and everything. But now it's about to be to a higher level of like your words are really about to be heard. Like your words are really about to be felt. Yeah. So now you really have to steward and understand what you're saying because mm-hmm. anything you say can have a, a consequence to it. Yeah. So I understand, like, God, back then, that was when, if a client did something crazy. And I've seen that, T.O. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that, client did something crazy, they, like, they was going to hear about it. Thank God for grace. <laughs> Look, try Jesus, not me. Try Jesus, not me. Bro, that's crazy. No, I think, man, I think that is a fear. One of, one of the greatest fears of doing ministry in all aspects, mm. anything like this, especially in regards to souls, is you don't want to let God down. I think that was one of my biggest fears. Like, my internal fears, I don't want to let God down doing any of this. Because at the end of the day, I used to always tell God, listen, God, I didn't ask for this life. Mm -hmm. Listen, you you called me to it, so I'm going to need you to grace me and equip me to fully walk into that. On the flip side of that, do y'all ever read the comments and see how many lives have been changed by what they see from the podcast? And, And it really hits you, it's like, this is bigger than us. Like, mm-hmm. it's bigger than all of us. Like, when the mission be- be- has become greater mm-hmm. than us, yeah. the big- bigger than yourself, and it's like, yo, this is really crazy. Bro, truthfully, it's actually like a, it's like another form of accountability at the same time, too. Mm-hmm. Cause like, once, cause say if you're about to indulge in sin, but you see the comment of someone that says, hey, bro, you just saved my life. Mm. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Which has happened. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nah. multiple times. This is a true story. <laughs> it's a true story, like multiple times. So it's yeah. like, Holy Spirit would like, the t- first of all, the timing of that too, like mm-hmm. you about to indulge in sin or go back to your old self, of the old self you left yeah. behind. Mm-hmm. And right when you about to indulge in it, you'll get a Notification. message. Mm-hmm. Notification. Wow. Hey, I love what y'all do. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all done like, sparked a new life in me. I done gave my life to Christ. Like, 
that's the most beautiful message I can ever get. Yeah. Because, like, you really listening to what we have to say? Like, not even what we have to say to what God is saying through yeah. us. Like, that's really crazy. That's what's yeah. up. And now, I have to lock back in. It's like, okay, nah, new flesh, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you're cooked. Especially mm. because, like you said, we will be judged by the words which we have spoken yeah. that we haven't taken into account in our private life. And I think that was the biggest thing for me as well is because we're pastor's kids, so... We was good knowing, okay, I know I can't do this in public. Yeah. We already mm-hmm. knew. Yeah. You know how to weasel public, around. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know I can't yeah. do that in public. I yeah. know I know what to say, what not to say, who to say it around, who not to say it around. But I think it was more so when I when we started this podcast, I think it was more so allowing God to fix my private life. Facts, and facts, I think that's kind of where you can tell the heart of somebody. Because at the end of the day, most of the people that watch this podcast don't know our private lives. Yep. Mm-hmm. But my heart... Our hearts for God was so pure. It's like, listen, I can't continue to do this mm-hmm. and then continue to live this way. You that's know? how you know that you're growing in relationship. Phone. Yeah. That's, that's how you know you're growing in relationship with God because now you'll start feeling conviction of things that you yeah. didn't feel conviction with at first at all. And eventually, you can you can tell fakes. Eventually, mm-hmm. yeah, sure. eventually it would have it showed. What's done in the dark yeah, will come to light. It definitely every, will. Every time. Yeah. It never fails. I mean, it fails. It <laughs> yeah, never fails. it never fails. I, so, okay. Uh, no, go ahead. No. So I was going to say, like, what is that? <laughs> Spider-Man. <laughs> no, okay. Flip that. Um, Flip that. <laughs> <laughs> what would y'all say is, like, um, I think we all can, like, have our own say in this, but what would y'all say is, like, your biggest struggle of, like, the blow up? Like, because I know y'all, y'all celebrities now. Nah, <laughs> like, once with the Tulsa, I seen, I seen them. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, like, how did, like, how do you... How do you deal with that? Like, what is the the process of, like, keeping yourself humble? I think, well, I think, honestly, bro, I don't think the hard part is really us staying humble because we're, we've already naturally yeah. been humble. Mm-hmm. I think more so the hard part is upholding the lifestyle that we're talking about. Mm. I think that's the hardest part. So, like, if we're out, make sure that what they see on camera is what they see in real life in person. Like I don't want them to be like, oh, they look good and they 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 seem cool and, and they so spiritual on camera, and but you meet us in person, we have nasty it's attitudes. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, nah, it's gonna always yeah. be authentic and genuine and loving all across the board. Anytime, any time, any time you see us, it's gonna be the same vibe every time, mm-hmm. if not better in person. Like you're gonna be able to actually feel our energy and feel God's spirit through us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I think that's really the hardest part because we both know to the highest to the highest extent. Whatever God can give us, He can take it away within two seconds. I've seen it happen. Yeah, yeah, nah. yeah. He'd already humbled me a couple times. Yeah. So it's like, All us. I'm not trying to get humbled again. Yeah. He took away my gift at one point. See? Yeah. I said, Boy, I can't write nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, you, what you mean, God? <laughs> and yeah. that, that just goes to show you, bro, like how, like, in those moments, you'll actually start, it'll be like a, not non negotiable, but a second nature type thing where you'll be able to take in, like, the, the energy that other people give you as far as like the the gems and the and the flowers that people give you. Yeah. Fact, matter of fact, I was just at the gym when I went to the gym last night. Mm-hmm. Someone came to me and said, Yo, I love y'all podcast and I love your photography work and everything. Keep doing what you're doing, y'all gonna be big one day, this and that. And it's just an honor to meet you in person. Anybody that's like uh me, I don't really like it felt weird. It was like yeah. uh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Yeah. But that's an honor to meet you. Like yeah. I appreciate the energy, I appreciate yeah. the love, and I thank you for supporting us. Like that's love, that's what's up. And I actually wanted the whole conversation because it's like I don't ever want nobody to think that we're higher than anybody because the only yeah. person that's higher than everybody is Jesus. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. no, don't. Like, I understand like what you're saying, mm-hmm. everything, the honor, but we we all human here. Like, we, yeah. none of us is perfect, and that that's the biggest thing. Mm. We don't ever want nobody to think that we're perfect. We're mm-hmm. not perfect at all. Like, and I, I feel like that's the biggest misconception of people that yeah. that look at Christian influences in general. Mm-hmm. They feel like as soon as you become a Christian or as soon as you give your life to Christ, you're yeah. automatically perfect. No, no, that's not the case. Listen, I got my own struggles. Like, but well, we all filthy rags. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest thing for me, well, I, the the numbers and all of that, it actually wasn't hard for me. And I think the hardest part for me is just staying at the feet of Jesus. Mm-hmm. I, I wouldn't say hard, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that's the most crucial part is staying at the feet of Jesus. Because if you're not, then the numbers and then all the different things that you are seeing can kind of get to your head. And like CL said, I mean, this this is nothing we did. And for me, all it takes is a thought to just remember where I was before the podcast, mm-hmm. and I don't want to go back there, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I just always remember, you know, God just chose me. This is all his doing. My doing was just my obedience. Yeah. Yeah. So my doing was just a yes. All the rest of this is just God's work. The outcome is God's work. I always say, you focus on the obedi- obedience, and then God will handle the outcome. So mm. I think that's the the biggest thing. But for some people, this can, it's dangerous. Why? It can, it It really can get dangerous. But one thing my dad told me is that as you go up, as you gain more influence, what was already in your heart just comes out. Mm -hmm. 
it, it just comes out as the numbers and stuff starts to pile up. So my biggest thing is everything that we are doing now, for me personally, everything we are doing now, I feel like I prepared for yeah. not knowing I was preparing for it. Yeah. Facts. So everything, my private life, my devotional life with Jesus, not knowing none of this was coming, yeah. it prepared me for the moment at the same time. Yeah. And like CEO said, it's it's life touching. Like from meeting people, it's humbling to me. It yeah. makes me want to yeah. stay at the feet of Jesus stay even more. Yeah. It's like, yo, these people... They look up to me like, yo. And I be thinking in my head, like, yo, I ain't nobody. But at the same time, you still have to look at yourself. You don't want to be cocky, but still have to look at yourself. It's like, you're not just anybody, you're not, though. Yeah, you're not. No, you're not. Know the responsibility. You know, yeah. know the responsibility, yeah. yeah. yeah so. know, know that you're called. You're, yeah. you're yes. set apart for a reason. Definitely. I think, I think also meeting people keeps you from being, from getting comfortable. Yes. Like that, that aspect, because a lot of times, I don't want to get comfortable. I'm looking like, bro, we done grow the page. We done, we're, we're, we're being consistent. Mm-hmm. There's no need to add nothing else. Just yeah, keep doing yeah. what we're doing. But at the same time, it's like, no. Cause what if we actually like imagine how much more we could could be doing if we actually went full on like yeah. mm-hmm. I, I still feel like we going like we are, bro we're going halfway yeah, yeah. yeah. Not even gonna lie. if that there's <laughs> like, another level yeah there's a whole another too. level that we can really tap into yeah, yeah. Uh, go ahead oh I'm, I just want to get everybody's perspective yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, I would say for well I can say, kind of speak on both of us y'all are like yeah. the the face mm-hmm. and so us as the behind the scenes I want to say something that we have struggled with or is hard. But um, just to kind of keep in mind is that how you said we're all the foundation together. Mm-hmm. So we're like step. We, we in this with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. So we want to make sure that we continue to like the quality is good. Like mm-hmm. we make sure we pushing out the right content to, to reach the right people um, because there's a responsibility in mm-hmm. spreading what y'all say as well. Mm-hmm. And so Thanks. that's kind of a weight on us is like mm-hmm. making sure we doing everything right we um dotting our i's and crossing yeah. our t's when it comes to lighting cameras audio um the final product that's produced out into mm-hmm. the world because once it's out there it's out there forever yeah, mm-hmm. and so we just trying to we want y'all to look the best that y'all can be mm-hmm. yeah. through god what he's using y'all for, we appreciate so. y'all for that. yeah <laughs> most definitely yeah and just because you guys are behind the camera this is still ministry yeah. thanks and None of us can ever be prideful or cocky because we never chased this mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at all. And I think many people miss their microphone because they was looking for a pulpit. He's starting. He's starting. He's starting. Yeah. But okay. no, like, really, none of us yeah. chased this. None of us was looking for this. Yeah. But we all found our individual microphone. You have your own mic through the reels. Yeah. yeah. The Holy Spirit is speaking, Literally. and you have the ability to I tell the story you, yeah. as you're editing it. The motion and everything. The same with you on production. Everything yeah. is is God using the gift, and this, it's touching souls, and just us. It's our voice, you know. Yeah. So a lot of people are looking for a certain a certain look. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for a pulpit. Yeah. I'm looking to be a preacher. I'm looking to be a speaker. When there's so many different ways to do ministry, you're it's not for a couch. F- from a couch. From a couch. Mm. From a couch. So yeah. I don't Did know. y'all ever think that? this will grow to what it is and what it's becoming. Like when you first envisioned it and had this thought that God gave you, it's like beyond your wildest dream, did you yeah. imagine that this And is- be honest, <laughs> I'm, I'm cute to buck. Not in the more purpose standpoint. Mm. I've always seen it in the seller's media aspect as far as just my photography business. Gotcha. Yeah. As far as like, cause every, every vision, every dream I've ever had, I've, my mindset has always been, okay, God's going to blow my business up with photography to the point where it's like, to the max, it's going to reach millions, yada, yada, yada. Little do I know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Little did I know. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> We're going to... Hold on. He <laughs> said, he said oh, <laughs> blow, blow up your business. It reminds me of what your dad says. When you make God business, your, your business, business. Yeah. he'll make your business his, his business. business. Oh, yeah. And he's making his business grow up. He blew the business up. He built the business up. <laughs> he blew it up. All right. So it's yeah. just crazy like, to see how every vision that I have for Sellers Media is coming to fruition through more purpose. Mm-hmm. So it's really full circle. It's like, yeah. again, God, your will be done, not mine. Mm-hmm. So, And honestly, it's crazy even thinking about it back on it because going from that season now, it's like a, I'm in a season of transition and shift because. Now nah, I don't really want to do the photography aspect as much anymore for real at all. It's like, nah, I want to do the ministry aspect. Like yeah. I want to be able to keep pouring to people and keep being used by God and keep staying close to God's help and let him be able to use me how he needs to use me so that he can get his word across and get the glory. Because I get way more I get way more fulfillment from knowing that we're really walking in obedience yeah. and doing what God had. like real success is walking in obedience to what God is telling you to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like it don't matter how much money I make from my camera, like the success is this part right here. People 
the response that we're getting from people telling us that they gave their life to Christ, that, they, that God, like, God using our, our voices to change their lives. Like, yeah. the people that's putting, putting weed down, putting alcohol down, like, different stuff like that, like, that's the real fulfillment. That's the real blessing. And that's, like, life-changing to me because, like, dang, mm-hmm. like, this is really happening. Yeah. Your obedience is stronger than your fear of public speaking. Literally. Yeah. Because and most people, when God gives them the word to be obedient towards, they'll let their fear and their inner thoughts uh, dissuade them mm-hmm. from not obeying what God yes. says. Mm-hmm. And so I'm just, you know, flowers. <laughs> to, I, no, I appreciate that. <laughs> I think that comes from you still having a personal relationship with God, though, to understand his track record. That's what I'm trying to say. Is. Because if I didn't have my one-on-one time before he gave me the vision, I wouldn't have had the mindset yeah. of, all right, God, I'm going to trust you regardless of my fear. Yeah. It would have been like, a, nah, God, you bugging. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I think, man, I think, speaking on obedience, I think the thing that's hard for me is obedience and strategy. Because mm-hmm. as, like, I'm, yeah. I'm a content guy. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm social media manager, so it's like, to to the there plan. is a, there's yeah. a, a strategy to things. Like, if something blew up at some time, I'm like, okay, we did it this way. We yeah. did this hashtag, <laughs> did this and put it out, da, da, da. And it's like, but really, when I did that, I didn't think it would happen. So I was operating in obedience when it happened in the first place. Yeah. But like, you, you, it zooms over you. You're like, oh, I did it because I did this this way and this that way. No, nah. it's because you obeyed, just period, yeah. point, point. Yeah. Not because of your strategy, not because you had a plan in place. It was because God moved. Yeah. And you just obeyed. Listen. And it, it seemed like it felt, it fall in the strategy, but it didn't. Because it didn't work. Like, I tried. I was like, okay, so it's going to work this time. Nope. Only 2,000 views. I can't get a million, man. But it's like I had to get in the mindset of, okay, God, you just put me put me where I'm supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. Post what I'm supposed to post. If I missed it at seven o'clock and it was supposed to go at eight o'clock, that was you. Like mm-hmm. you allowed me to sleep too long or take a nap too yeah. long or not schedule something or yeah. something like that because it's all purposeful. And so like that's in my mindset. I was just like, okay, really, I had to take everything on like an aspect of like it's all supposed to happen for a reason, and I just have to. Uh, and me acting in um, how thing, me allowing things to flow how they're flowing is me obeying God. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's not putting my own agenda onto yeah. how I think things really That's should good. be. It's so good because the Holy Spirit is the algorithm. And uh, no, no matter how long you stay up studying social media, studying, you've been doing it for however long, yeah. no matter how long you do it, you still won't know more than God. Mm-hmm. It's Facts. something about God because he's not in time. He could just come in. And I instantly thought of while you were talking is when God when he first found Peter, one of the disciples, and um, he told him to cast yep. his net. Yep. And Peter was like, you this know, this, this, this lame yeah. Yeah. Lame yeah. terms, like, yo, like, you're not catching no fish around this time, yeah. you know? You're really not getting nothing. Yeah. It's been proven. I've been out here this long. Mm-hmm. It's no fish out here. And Jesus is like, okay, Do cast your net. And this ain't the time to fish. And it's not the time to <laughs> <Yeah>. fish. <laughs> Oh, the algorithm ain't algorithm. Yeah. It's not the time to post. It's not the time yeah. to post. It ain't the, it ain't the time to post. It's clear. Everybody sleep right, sleep. Music. Everybody right. Sleep right <laughs> now. Jesus like, yo. Cast a net. He cast a net. That man caught more fish, and they said it was the boat was starting to sink. Mm. And that goes to show you that there there is no algorithm for Jesus at mm. all. There is no algorithm for the Holy Spirit. When He wants to get in the mix, He gonna get in the mix. You yeah. know. So yeah, it, it's beautiful. Going into that, I want to tap into like the obedience aspect and mm. like the spiritually for everybody. Mm. Since starting the podcast, how has y'all personal relationship with God grown? Like from we when we started into now, like can, can you like can you see a clear? Let me from go the first because <laughs> I've seen his difference a little. Yeah, um, I will start with. I've seen it through the pod. So the podcast has not just helped other people, but it's also helped me. So yeah. when I edit, I'm watching the whole thing. So yeah. like people see by the time it gets to YouTube, I've seen it multiple times already, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and so a lot of times. I'll be watching, I'm like, man, that convicted me. All right. Um, okay. And week by week, I get more convicted. And I was like, okay, let me actually like do something about it and start making changes. Mm-hmm. And, and um, up to last week's episode, and y'all was talking about fasting. Mm-hmm. And I was just talking to Marlon about this after Bob said, I was yeah. like, yo, this fast, I felt so differently because I approached it differently wow. after watching last week's episode or editing as last week's yeah. episode. And so I'm like, spiritually, I'm like full right now. Like this fast has been like completely different for me. Up, I I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't yeah. know what's coming. But <laughs> God yeah. gonna have his way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. All I, can say. I love that, bro. I love that. But yeah, I've definitely I grown. 
a lot yeah. since. I would say for me, man, I think it's been um, allowing myself to really hear God's voice. That's before I don't know if I really heard him for real, mm-hmm. but like now I'll literally I'll just be editing and I'm like, mm, I'll just be like, God, this is it. Okay. Yeah. That's what you want me to do. <laughs> all right, a little, all right, a little. I got you, bet. Okay, okay. Like that's literally how I'm like talking to God now. I never used to do that before. I really honestly, because of how we grew up, because not say we were PKs, but my whole family's just a ministry. Yeah. Like yeah. everyone's a minister, everyone's a deacon, everyone's some We was in pastor. church every day. We yes. yeah, <laughs> in church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like <laughs> all that stuff, right? Um so it's like I had to really grow into like it becoming like the routine, like, oh, I'm just I'm a Christian. I'd be going to mm-hmm. church all the time, like that's not what makes you a Christian. Like yeah. it's the difference between things. doing church and actually and, having your and, own yeah, relationship. Yeah, have a relationship. So like, I think that's what it, this has really caused me yes. to do. Like, have a relationship with God. Like, yeah. it's not about you just saying I go to church and I do this and I do that. That's cool. But does Jesus know you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like yeah. when you die, is it, is it gonna be like? When, yeah. Come on now. Depart from me. Mm-hmm. I never knew you. That's scary. Like, mm-hmm. that's and so like I keep that in my mind. I'm like, okay, like it's it's a. A relationship and a relationship is relations. And yeah. so if God doesn't know me and I don't know God, then how can there even be anything there? So mm-hmm. um, I really think that's been my big thing, like literally just talking to God um, in my in my own way. Um, and it's just been, I just hear like it's just like revealed. Yeah. And it's clear as day. So I say that's my pretty my big thing. And that's good, bro. I think with this being a, a spiritual podcast, Y'all wouldn't even be able to produce the way you produce without a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. How would you even hear what to exactly hear for the reals without having a relationship with the Holy Spirit? You know, Mm -hmm. it wouldn't hit the same because you would just be clipping up stuff that just may sound good, but it don't got no no Mm -hmm. meat to it. You know, you feel what I'm saying? So I love that. I absolutely love that. Um, For me, I definitely say the same thing. I had to go deeper, mainly because we're the ones communicating. And I feel like in regards to communication especially communicating the word of God, you can tell when a word is stale. What I mean by that is you can tell when somebody hasn't been at the feet of Jesus by the way they talk. So for me, it was like, yo, I'm doing this podcast. I have to stay at the feet of Jesus because yeah. if I don't, I'm going to get this podcast and I have nothing to talk about. Like yeah. me and CEO go look at, we just going to be looking at each other like, yo, like what are we doing? What are we yeah. doing? You know? So that has definitely helped me. And just seeing the way God has transformed my life, even my just, my private life and things he just does in me um, on private, it's held me to a standard as well because like you, I'll go back and watch the podcast and be like, yo, like, I, say, I may have said that mm-hmm. or the Holy Spirit led me to say it. I'm like, yo, that was for me. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, yo, yeah. he was speaking to me in that moment, you know, so this podcast has, it's definitely, it's changed my life. It's yeah. definitely changed my spiritual walk with God. I take my walk way more serious. Way um, more. I take reading and intimacy with God way more serious, praying with God way more serious. And then I guess just to see people look up to me in, mm-hmm. in regards to that. And some, some people think like, I know what all, and I don't, I'd be yeah. the first one to tell you like, no, I just know I need to be at the feet of Jesus mm-hmm. to, to even for this podcast to just keep moving. So it's been constant motivation. I'm constantly trying to be a student of the game mm-hmm. and continue to learn way more, way more, way more. And then yeah. God just drops way more wisdom onto us that when we speak, because this is a podcast, but I'm just believing God that, when we die and when we are finished, not death, but when we are, are passing over to glory, I believe that this podcast, because the Holy Spirit is on it and because we are saying his words, mm. this podcast will still be able to speak for us while we're yeah. in heaven. Yeah. Mm. That the words that we speak will be able to touch our children's children, mm-hmm. their children. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I'm just believing God for. So because of that, I got to stay at the feet of Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, what? Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I love that, bro. I love all y'all responses because it's really the same for me as well. Like, even trying to give like a night and day perspective, like before mm-hmm. the podcast, I will, like I, will, I was getting my work, I had just my Bible, but it would not be on the intimacy level that I am now. Yeah. Like back then, it would be like a, well, I read my word a day after Sunday. I'm a lock for the week. Like I'm good. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm charged up. Yeah, I'm on fire. Yeah. And then as you grow, you'll start to notice like as you go closer and closer to Christ, it takes more effort, it takes more intentionality, it takes mm-hmm. more intimacy. So it's like, yeah, you can read your Bible every single day, but if it's in routine, you're not going to get what you actually need. Yeah, You're trying to read a whole chapter in one day just to get it out of the way, mm-hmm. but then you're not really actually getting what the chapter is actually saying to you. Yeah. You're getting the full understanding of what God's trying to pour out to you. So now, going from back then to now, it's like, no, I actually set out time. Like, I realized that the best way 
I mean, again, everybody has different ways that they um start they they day what they were. Mm. But for me, when my a long time ago, I really, I just love music. Like music always gets me there as far as like setting the atmosphere for me yeah. to like get my word to actually focus up on word because I had the attention span of a squirrel. So it's like <laughs> phone phone buzz one time, my head is turned to the side. Like well, yeah. who said something? What notification is that? And just by actually being able to have the the mindset to be one, come my phone, do not disturb. And actually be intentional about no God, this is your time. I'm cut my phone off. Matter of fact, I'm putting my phone on my bed while I'm at my desk. Yeah. So I can't even see my phone no more. And actually having the mindset of, yo, God, I I'm giving my full undivided attention. It's been a beautiful experience because I hear God way, yeah. way clearer than I've ever have in my life. Mm-hmm. Like, matter of fact, the other night, prime example, we came back from Bible study and while I was in uh I was praying in the car, I prayed the whole car ride back home. And right when I pulled up to the um right when I, was, when I pulled up to my neighborhood, I said, Speak, Lord, I'm listening. Right when I said that, holy, uh, mind you, mind y'all, I was about to go home and lay down, go to sleep. I, had, mm-hmm. I took a shower right before Bible study and everything. I was about to go back, go back home and go to sleep. Right when I was about to get the car, Holy Spirit said, "Go take a shower." I said, huh? I'm like, what you mean, brother? I'm like, I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Holy Spirit said, "Take a shower," because I had repented in the car because it was different things that I had to realize internally. I was getting irritated with God with. And I was like, "All right, God, my fault. I'm sorry. Like mm-hmm. that wasn't the case. My fault." Forgive me, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Holy Spirit said, take a shower. Took a shower and had worship music playing and everything while taking the shower. And some people might say, no, it's just a shower, bro. It's just a shower. But, like, no, I felt spiritually clean. It felt like God was making me white as snow. It felt like God was actually washing my sins away. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I felt so good afterwards. I was like, thank you, Lord, for, like, Mm -hmm. just your, that little subtle, subtle motion of telling me to do one thing and be obeying has made me feel so good and so light. It felt like a weight off my shoulders. Like, it felt beautiful. So, like, just simple things like that that I probably wouldn't have experience if I didn't, if we weren't doing the podcast mm-hmm. or if we weren't doing Bible studies because I also feel like Bible studies are also practice for mm-hmm. the yes, podcast. Yes. For people that's virtual, like people that's all around the world yes. and vice versa. I feel like it's like hand to hand, like one, two punch. So this is real, it's been a real blessing, bro. It's been a real crazy experience to even witness, to see all of our growth spiritually. Like yeah. we all be tapped in, like mm. real talk. Like, let me tell you something. When we was in Tulsa, <laughs> Them two? Oh my gosh. <laughs> was going back and forth. Wait till y'all see that. Wait till y'all see that. It's vlog. in the works. It's in the works. <laughs> Man, but I just I love that we all are on the same page though. Like spirits, like everybody's in alignment. So it's like it's so dope to actually experience. Like at first it'll be like me and Maul just having conversations. And it's crazy because even before the podcast, me and Maul ain't really have like too many combos. Not like, like that. this. Mm. Yeah, nah. Like all of us had to elevate. Like yeah. because I'm sure y'all being around us is causing y'all to elevate. Then us being around y'all, it's the same thing. Because yeah. Ryan get around me, and he's cause when Ryan starts going, I start going. Yeah. Like because now we start talking about the Bible, and I get excited. I yeah. get passionate. Then Ron comes to me yeah. with questions. He's like, "Bro, I just watched this video. You got to yeah. see this." I'm like, "Bro, Ron, I grabbed this revelation from this." Yeah. Like, and we just go at cycle, it. Bro. Yes, yeah. 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 I, I would say I think it's so beautiful that we have all served this mm-hmm. because some people, people, if you don't know. We're really not making a lot mm. from this mm. right now yet. Yeah. Because yeah. God. Yeah. Big on the yet. He's yeah. sending it. He's it's already in the works. Yes. He's going to let it rain for sure. <laughs> for the past year and a half, we just been yeah, doing it. Yeah. We just been yeah, grinding really it out. Been doing it. Like, and I think, I, I just want to say I appreciate all of us for being humble enough mm-hmm. to allow God to just put us, put God first. Yes. With mm-hmm. this. And a lot of people will say, oh, God first, but, you know. You didn't really have to go through the struggle before the God first came. Mm. Um, but like we're literally we're struggling. Um, Listen, <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, we're struggling and we are like we've been, but we've still been consistent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I think that was a really big test, or and also yes. a learning experience that God wanted us to go through because He's like, where I'm gonna send y'all. I need to know that y'all are really down. Yeah, for me. and not for no money. Mm-hmm. And, and if it takes five years of y'all not making anything. For the proof that, then that's it's what we gotta do. That, yeah. what do. We gotta do. Um, so it's like, and if that's the case, it's okay. Like that's if you don't have that mindset, and it's not even like a, we're just saying it. Like, nah. it's cool. Yeah, like that's that's all right. You know, if, if this wasn't even like my biggest financial thing, that's okay because I enjoy this and I enjoy spreading the word and I enjoy encouraging others and I enjoy like just you know being with y'all. Like, and and if that's not like what your core is about. Then it is, you're gonna fail. Like yeah, any of those dreams you have, those aspirations that you have, if God is not first and serving His kingdom is not first, put everything else to the side. If that's not first, it's gonna fail. Good curtains. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy because, like you said, we haven't been receiving physical money yet. Yeah. But 
souls is worth way more than physical way dollars. More, yeah. Way more. So it's investment sitting up there just with yeah, <laughs> that, <laughs> that thing stacked. <laughs> interesting. That interesting. That stacked we, and we know the equity. And that's way better because we yeah. can't take none of this cash with us anyway. Yeah. Will we love to get paid? Yes. And we will get paid from doing God's work because yeah. God is so gracious he said, that he would not allow yeah. us to do his will and his work and he not provide for us. So yeah. we're looking forward to that. But even if he didn't, though, we still have the posture of the three Hebrew boys. Like, even if he don't, mm-hmm. we good. Yeah. His will be done. The souls is being reached, and that's the most fulfillment that we can get. Yeah, and yeah. I think that that's the amazing thing you said. You know, like God will provide for you. A lot of people will think, "Okay, God will provide me money." Oh yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm alive today. Yeah, facts. I ate enough so I can live today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I drank enough water so I could be here today. Mm-hmm. If that's not providing, then what is yeah. it? Like, He provides every need yeah. that we have, every need that we have. Allow. I'm here today. Like, that's the craziest part. Like, yeah. a lot of people really be thinking, like, okay, like, because I'm doing this, God going to provide 100,000 followers. Nah. nah. No. We didn't even know that was coming. Yeah. It just yeah. happened. Yeah. It, wasn't yeah. it really just, just happened. Just happened. And the, the, highest, the highest form of payment for me was the fulfillment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Before yeah. this podcast, I, didn't, I was just wandering. The fulfillment, the fulfillment is enough for me. Yeah. That is enough. I, I have purpose now. We that's found our purpose in this. That's crazy. You said we found our purpose in more God. purpose. We all found our purpose in more purpose. <laughs> Come on. If I say, before the podcast, I was idolizing money. Wow. So it wasn't about God. Mm-hmm. But right when I started building my own personal relationship with God, I was like, okay, God. And then God started stripping the money away. But I've still been, I've been fulfilled way more than I was doing with photography. I was getting burnt out with photography, but now I've been getting all the energy in the world from mm-hmm. actually serving God's vision mm-hmm. instead of my own. Yeah. So it was just like crazy to look at. I get excited to do more purpose stuff. Facts. Me like, too. when I got to work other I gigs and stuff, I'm like, where guys at, man? <laughs> <laughs> I be working other gigs and like, ah. It don't hit, it don't hit the it same. Don't hit the same. I, I don't book anything on Wednesdays because, like, that's more purpose day. It's like, same. I, I, I ain't doing nothing on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Anything you don't, anything that doesn't give you purpose or fulfillment, it's just a job. Mm-hmm. Facts. This is not a job it's for y'all. Work. It's, it's like, because you love doing it. Yeah. Me showing up here on Wednesdays, it's, bro, I love doing Facts. this. Like, this ain't no job. This nah. I love it. Yeah. yeah so Jesus, Lord, you are yeah, listen. <laughs> it's crazy I love. I got a question now. Um 50 episodes, right? Mm-hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> 50 mm-hmm. episodes. <laughs> we'll start off with this one. What has been the funniest moment on More Purpose from any episode? Um, funniest. <laughs> there we go, parents. <laughs> <laughs> then when God has put what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we all got one in my mind. Um, I I'm definitely like, got it. I'm so, not so it. aside from like CL's a glitch. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> if you haven't seen it, yeah, insert yeah. the glitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> then when God has put like, what? <laughs> I love y'all. Um, I would say funniest moment, honestly, is is whenever this happens like once an episode. Anyways, whenever Marlon's chatting, I'm talking. He's in his biggest chattish bag, <laughs> and CL's just like. <laughs> bro, oh, he, he be wilding. <laughs> bro, I have a video in my phone. I'm looking at myself talking during the Bible study. CL sit beside me with that stank face. He's looking at me. I can't even see him. He's like, <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro, y'all don't really be tuning in, bro. Y'all be seeing my faces, bro. Like, I can't help it. Marlon be wild. Like, Holy Spirit be wilding. Mm. I'd be like, bro, what? Bro, like, what did you just say? Like, it'd be crazy here because in my mind, I feel like. It's gonna go over everybody's head, but I caught it. So it's like yeah. now I have to react because, like, bro, I hope y'all heard what he just said. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy. Uh, man, funniest has to probably be Marlon's pre uh, pre recording yells. Like, <laughs> yeah. like no it's it's funny, but then at the same time, it became sort of like a tradition. Yeah. It, was like, yeah. it started off as funny. It's like, well, and they don't Marlon, even know because they don't even get on. Yeah. They don't yeah. Man, go ahead, Marlon, do your yells. Like, <laughs> we don't change it for nobody. We, we was in Tulsa, Marlon, do your yell. Yeah. When we at the studio, Marlon, do your yell. Yeah, yeah. it be some days I don't be want to do the yell. I got to do it. Like, it just, it gets me going. Yeah. Somebody asked me last week, matter of fact, because they seen a video uh, from Tulsa, and they was like, what are you air punching? I keep seeing you air punching. <laughs> I'm like, listen, I'm just getting myself get amped ready, up. because <laughs> I got to get myself ready. Yeah. I got to get myself together. But funniest moments. Um, a lot. Huh? It's a lot of funny moments. Funny moments, other besides CLs. <laughs> that, well, that glitch was that crazy. Glitch. Besides yeah. CLs. Then when God has put, what? 
I think I think for me personally, one of the funniest moments was a moment that really wasn't supposed to be funny. Everybody might not have laughed, but looking back on it, it was yeah. funny. We filmed an episode with my dad. Mm-hmm. Great episode. <laughs> this is not this is not I gonna be <laughs> this is not gonna be funny to Ron. Oh <laughs> we, filmed, we filmed the episode with my dad, and I'm like, yo, this is one of the best episodes we didn't ever film. That episode was crazy. So we we talking with my dad. Ron goes to the audio Fire. thing. I ain't ever been so mad. Ron in my said, life. Ron said, hey fellas. <laughs> hey fellas. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what someone don't got no, <laughs> yeah. like, I got you with the and we excited. We like, bro, Holy, Holy Spirit just wham, bro. This episode about to be crazy. Mm, no, he's on fire now. Ron said, hey, look. Audio turned off. Equipment Every- malfunction. <laughs> Everybody's face got so blank. I'm nah. looking at Ron like, listen, Ron, we done recorded like 20 episodes already. You know what to do. Like, <laughs> we like, Finally. Like, nah, but we good. We good. But after the fact, it was it was funny to me. Yeah. It was like, bro, because stuff stuff like that happens. Like, you could mm. dot your eyes and cross your teeth. Yeah. Stuff like that happens out yeah. of nowhere. It is what it is. But I think that was funny to me because <laughs> <laughs> it was just an in-the-moment thing, and Ron was actually yeah, hurt. Like, yeah, I can't remember I this was. episode. He's like, yeah, I look. Was. Oh, and man. Ron did not want to break that news to us nah. either. <laughs> I was heated. He's like, fellas, I, was like, I felt like I let my brothers down. Nah, like, nah, nah. Hey, it won't even me, though. I hit record, yeah, though. Yeah, the record. audience just stopped for some reason. Yeah. It's crazy because the same thing happened on Ari episode, too. It did. I, was, I, I couldn't do nothing yeah. but laugh at that. I was like, at this point. Uh, that yeah. was Never move, because that episode was crazy, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We couldn't even use the episode. I yeah. was like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, even though y'all all skipped it, yeah, but the funniest <laughs> moment was definitely that <laughs> the glitch, John. <laughs> then when guy has put... Like, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. Like Mr. I was Crocker. crying tears. We watching that. Now, matter of fact, if y'all watch the episode, in the episode I said, "Yo, Ron, clip that," because it was that funny. I was like, "Bro, what did I just say? Like English? Speak English." It was please. the fact that he even said, "He said <laughs> what?" This is what? What? It was. What? It was the when was Ryan baffled. when Ryan clipped it and put the memes behind now, the so swipe. Like, yeah. me- I was ten memes out of that thing. I Mr. Crocker Jones, it ain't nothing better than laughing at yourself, though. Oh That's yeah, the, listen. Yo, the fact that I said what? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, I covered my face. I was ashamed. I said, "Bro, there's no way." Bro, that, 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 was <laughs> that was a hilarious moment, bro. Uh, yeah. Oh no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> and even going from there, though, like it's crazy to still look back because even though that moment was hilarious. It still reminded me of how far I've come. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's still like a perspective. Yeah, it was perspective, exactly. Perspective. It's like, even though y'all see me study, y'all see me croak, all that, like, y'all just see me talk a hundred miles per hour. Lot souls are still getting saved. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's crazy to look back on. It's crazy to see how God has been qualifying us along the way. And it's just crazy to see like all he's done in 50 episodes. And it goes to to my next question as far as what do y'all see for more purpose? I was about to say the same thing. For the future. The next like, 50. <laughs> what, what's, what's going on for the next 50? Look, man, we're gonna put out. What we doing? This, this is this is this is my goal. So on the social media aspect, I'll say, definitely the content is not just gonna be. You know how like at the um, uh, are you going to heaven? Yeah. Oh, why do you deserve to go to heaven? Mm-hmm. Um, that was crazy. That more was things crazy. like that. I really, I'm really going. I'm sitting on a lot of things. I've been sitting on for like years that I haven't done. Um, so we're gonna cook up with that. Um, short films, man. We're gonna put out some. So he more, more purpose productions. Turn me to an actor, bro. Because we really haven't like been putting our, our like okay, we haven't been putting our foot on our necks for real. But um, we're about to show y'all like we're not just like we better go all in a right podcast. Now. Like mm-hmm. we got heat. Like I'm <laughs> talking crazy heat, and they gonna think we just chatting. But once it drops, they gonna know. <laughs> yeah, I wanted uh, to tap into that too, bro. Like we're really trying to show y'all that again. This is more than a podcast. Yeah. It's a lifestyle, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we're trying to show you more purpose on purpose, basically. Mm-hmm. So like. What's the, what's the saying at the end? It's always more purpose. You just have, you just yeah. have to find yours. Yeah. So, like, we're really trying to help y'all find yours for, for y'all to actually feel like y'all can implement it into your own life. Mm. So, it's going to be more stuff on YouTube than the podcast episodes. going to be more yep. vlogs, more behind-the-scenes stuff, more traveling, just or more videos of just us even talking, yeah, like, amongst lifestyle. ourselves. Like, yeah. everything involved in our lifestyle, y'all going to start seeing more of mm. because we want y'all to actually feel like y'all can be here, even if you're not in Virginia. You know what I'm saying? And other than that, too, like... I'm ready for the more. I'm ready for community stuff. Like I'm just ready to start. Man. I'm ready for the like the actual like conference. The, so the much con- the conference, yeah. Stuff. Yeah. the yeah. tours, the, live, the, live shows, the giving yeah. back and worship everything. Worship nights, mm-hmm. worship nights, heavy on the worship we nights. We got listen. We have crazy stuff planned. Like yeah. y'all just need to block off your calendar. Y'all need to be <laughs> block it off. We already been talking about Book a whole lot of things that's in the works. Yeah, and we 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 not we not just be gonna, gonna be in Virginia. We are gonna be near oh, nah. you too. Like yeah. Yeah. Come world on, we come tour. 
I think that's I think that's why I'm most excited. I'm about. excited for traveling. That. I can't because ex- it was fun. We went to Tulsa. That was fun. Yeah, traveling out and so just fun. doing our podcast, really our fun. setup. Like, I think that would be amazing. What else you see for uh, the, the, what we doing, Marlon? Uh, definitely traveling and then uh, more speaking. For sure, more speaking. Mm-hmm. Um, more conferences. I want to do worship nights and definitely com- overall community stuff. Um, and just stepping outside the box on different things like that because we're touching so many people in the community. And now I feel like as God gives us the resources, we can start actually doing and implementing mm-hmm. more things. Like I told CEO off camera, I'm like, bro, we're gonna make we're gonna make Virginia as long as, long as we're here, mm-hmm. we're gonna make Virginia the hub for mm-hmm. people who do not leave or go past Virginia without stopping here and mm-hmm. doing anything with more purpose first. Yes. So meaning Facts. we know certain locations for cer- certain things. Like we got um we got the Met Gala. Yeah. Um you think of the different concerts that people have at the certain locations where Virginia has something in the water. Mm-hmm. It's no way you think of Virginia mm-hmm. and, and you don't think about more purpose. purpose. And I'm yeah. not talking about the podcast, mm-hmm. but the brand in general. Like, that point for sure. you, and I want it to where people are flying out from where they are and flying here. Like, yo, no, we got to stop by. We got to we got to stop and yeah. see. Yeah. 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 Come speaking, check in. Speaking of the brand, <laughs> yeah, check in, yeah. speaking of the brand, uh, another thing that's coming, them clothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> them clothes, that's, 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 that's necessity. Yeah. <laughs> them paraphernalia. Y'all been asking for it for a long time now. It's in the works. Which is... They We're not going, trying to rush it on y'all. We're not trying to get y'all no know. trash quality. We're no. going to get y'all excellence. the best best, for sure. Yeah. They just going to randomly pop up an episode, just more purpose down to the to the socks. Yeah. <laughs> just, know, just know the commercial that drops for that. Oh, boy. Boy. <laughs> that drink will be crazy. Gonna come right from heaven. It's going to come yeah. right from heaven. Yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> I'm going to sign up for the clothes. I definitely am. Because I... I don't work on cameras and stuff like that. Yeah. So I think I'm most excited about the clothes because, you listen, be I'll be, hands on. Bro, listen, I'll be at the studio trying to help them. Like, listen, what can I do? What can I do? Listen, <laughs> just grab bags. <laughs> grab your bag, grab the bags. <laughs> I, I don't know how to work the cameras. I don't know all this different technology and stuff, but I love clothes. So yeah. I think that's what I'm excited about. I just want to put the clothes on. Yeah. Yeah. They you be know. commenting on Marlon's, Marlon's fit. They just asked uh, Where you get your sweater from, your sweater from last episode. week. I told them it's already, <laughs> already you, responsible. You're you the only person I know that got the 2K sweater. What 2K no, sweater? That's, that's a sweater in 2K. What, the one I had the on the last one? episode? Yeah, that, I don't know if it was the recent 2K, 2K24, 23, but for I real? know I had a fit. I got that for I Christmas. I had a fit with that. That's yeah, how I knew yeah, I was like, that's hard. I put on the craziest jump on my body. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, with my, yeah. my player out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm looking forward to that the most, yeah. though. That's going to be exciting because people watch the podcast, but then they will actually be able to wear it like, mm-hmm. bro, and wear so the true meaning. Dope, like, man. that's... That's a revolutionary right there. Yeah. That ain't just, this is not a normal podcast. This is a brand. It's a lifestyle. So You know what I'm really excited for, bro? What? The collective obedience that's just going to continue to happen. Like mm-hmm. How we're all going to be able to actually like continue to see that the only way all this is happening is because we all obey Jesus. Like yeah. We all yeah. obey God. Like We're actually following his path for us and not trying to steer off on our own. And that's the only way that people are going to actually be able to really genuinely follow us and think that we're authentic and really believe what we mm-hmm. what we saying is what we're doing because they're gonna actually be able to see God's spirit in us because they're gonna actually be able to hear the transparency, the genuineness, the the authenticity within our voices and within our actions of what God's showing us. I just can't wait to see what God does for us in our in our own personal character development within these next fifty, hundred, a thousand episodes, whatever God yeah. expects yeah. us to do, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, I'm just excited. Yeah. I think the first season, the first year we was talking about it we was just figuring it out. Like, yeah. all been. of us, from whatever aspect you look at it, all of us was just figuring it out. We're, st- we're still figuring it out. We're still, no, we're still figuring it out. <laughs> but yeah, I we're think, definitely still figuring it out. I think it's a, we have a new message now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can already feel it from the first episode we filmed. If you haven't watched that, please go watch that because <laughs> the Holy Spirit was just, he Wham came and sat down on yeah. the couch with me in CL and yeah. he did his thing. But I feel like there's already a shift going on and mainly, um, like Jalil said, we're getting more structure. Mm-hmm. And I think that's going to help on the overall aspect because mm-hmm. if we be honest, and my homeboy Tega always says that he he talks about me and he'd be like, "Yo, you just want to ball," and I'd be like, "Yeah, mm-hmm. I just I just yeah. pull up, I pull up on game day and I shoot, <laughs> I, real time, yeah. I shoot like with the Holy Spirit, of course." Yeah. But like, imagine like now that we've been game doing plan. trial and error with the game plan, with the blueprint, and with actual vision Set from God. For you. Yes, <laughs> and this what we can really do, the wins we yeah. can really put up. You know, yeah. I think that's what I'm excited about. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, every I think time I say everybody's gonna drop fifty. Listen, <laughs> I think that's real. a testament too, because like. People think, okay, what purpose is like, they must have this going on behind the scenes. They must have that structurally wise or, you no. know, because if you grace. see us, you're like, oh, like they Listen, must, they must have something. Yeah. We've been flowing. We don't know what we're doing. This is grace. We've I'm been awesome. confused. As a lo- <laughs> Same as you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look, grace makes what's hard look easy to others. Mm-hmm. That's good. Because a lot of y'all not, we really be freestyling. <laughs> 
vibe. Don't even know what we're gonna talk about. Holy Spirit, straight Holy Spirit, straight Holy Spirit. Put up the studio, be like, all right. What y'all talking about today? Uh, let's turn on the cameras. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just, we'll see what he says. See, that's, and that's one thing we are going to work on. We are going to work on the aspect yeah, of yeah. being more intentional on the episodes, the mm-hmm. the planning out the topics, the mm-hmm. questions, everything. Because y'all can probably tell in the episodes, we just really be freestyling. It's, but it's because we have such a great chemistry, we can do yeah, that. Yeah, we could do that. But yeah. imagine it, the bigger the that's impact how better it will and the storytelling yeah. and how much can actually get put out into an episode if yeah. we actually plan out the questions yeah. and how much more we can add into the questions. Yes. Because when you do as much as you can, you allow the Holy Spirit to then take, yes. over, take over the rest. Yes. Facts. So it's like... Put the super on your yeah, natural. He puts a, Hello. <laughs> I, naturally, I can only do so much. Yeah. But no, God comes yeah. around and makes that special and yeah. puts the super on it. So. And that's all going to come from all of us really like these in this next season that we're in. All of us putting in our own intimate time with God. Now, when we all when we all come back for the huddle, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got a game plan. All right, bet. Yeah. Bet locking on this, bet locking on this. Hey, Ron, I need you to come set the screen over here so mm-hmm. I can come pop it for a three yeah. real quick. <laughs> yeah. That's that. Hey, Marlon, roll. I'm going to throw a lob. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, Ryan, pop out in the corner. Hit the three. You know what I'm yeah. saying? My, my, my dish it out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's going to get to that point where it's like everybody going to be flowing. And it's yeah. going to be so, like, it's going to be so si- simultaneous. Like, it's going to be OD. Like, mm-hmm. we're going to really be like just balling. You know, like poetry in motion. Like, it's going to flow. With it, um, remember I was recording my YouTube video when we went to Maryland, mm-hmm. and I was like, Ciela the one, the Ciela the he had to play a guy, he had to play a guy distributed the rock. You, you remember? We said yes, yeah. Ciela the one. I think Ron used at the two. Yeah, uh, you was at three. Was, other than three, rounds at the four was like got at the five. Yeah, hello, my life. Yeah. 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 That's the motto. That's yeah. the motto. That's God, God better be your center. And, and, it's, and it's accurate though. Yeah, it's it's a, if you actually look at the roles of each position, it's accurate too. Yeah. It's real so accurate. When you miss, he get the rebound. Yeah. <laughs> You got no. hey, I, I, was, I know you messed up today. I got you. And he the, the main defender. Mm. Hello. Paint force. Mm. Blocking everybody. You, you, <laughs> you ain't getting in the paint. Listen. Yeah. All the weapons that try to prosper. Block. You think you going to run through that brick wall of a screen? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well in. The enemy thought he was going to come into your house? Nah. nah. Well in. <laughs> Imagine your sense of bleachers. Yeah. That's, that's a, good. That's a crazy yeah. analogy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just thought about it because I remember I watched my YouTube video. I'm like, hold on. Ryan had said something after I said it. Yeah, and we was laughing about it. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That thing that was funny. Yeah, nah, that blessed me too. Like, I'm, I'm <laughs> over here chasing it. That's the motto now. That's the motto. Hey, man, I love y'all guys, man. Hey. Like, this ain't been a crazy episode. Yes. Love you and too, brother. for the viewers that's listening, like, more than anything, we really want to stress the point that, one, this podcast is not meant to make you feel good. Yeah. It's not meant to... Give you a like a, a brush on your shoulder or anything. Yeah, nah, we here to wake you up. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> like we we Hello. really we we're, we here to like make warriors out of everybody. We are here to make soldiers out of everybody. We're, we're here to have and actually cultivate an army for the Lord and actually yes. show our passion and our fire for God. Yes. The end times is near. Listen, the end times is near, and it's time to get right or get left. Yeah. There's no playing around. There's no in between. There's no gray. There's there's no time for no gray. It's black or white. Choose a side. Yeah. And we are we chose our side. We on God's side. If you're on that side, you better get right. Yeah. And <laughs> and with that being said, this is not a look. Yeah, nah. We're really doing it's not this an aesthetic. so that we, yeah, it's not an aesthetic because especially like you said, in the end times, this has been like a look. People want to be Christian influencers, but mm-hmm. this is a real this lifestyle life, you have yeah. to walk like walk yeah, out and it's life or death it. like you said so we want to make sure that we are telling as many people about the good news mm-hmm. as possible because it's getting crazy out here more and more people are being exposed uh more and more people are falling and we want you to fully have a true relationship with christ so Thanks. in this season you're going to see more controversial topics you're going to see more, more things that people may not be speaking on but we want to give you truth we want to give you Bible. meat we want to give you meat chicken the, the first season was cool the first season was candy you was getting milk you was yeah, getting all yeah. the goods you know what i'm saying and it made you feel good we still will have some episodes that make you feel good we're not saying it like mm-hmm. that but we're going to give you what you need not what you want to hear facts mm-hmm. yeah so prepare to get convicted yes mm-hmm. prepare to get woken up yes and prepare to go repent yes <laughs> it's coming yeah. for sure yeah. And all that's to say, we love y'all. We genuinely love y'all. And we do not take this for granted. Y'all souls are the most purest things to us that we that yeah. matter the most to us. And all we want to do is be able to do what God has told us to do and really help y'all out and y'all walk with Christ and y'all personal relationship with Christ. For y'all to actually have y'all genuine personal relationship with Christ and not just listen to what we have to say. You know what I'm saying? Actually going to read your Bible and not just listen to what we have to say and not reading your Bible. You know what I'm saying? Actually going to God and praying and not just hearing what we're praying about. You know what I'm saying? So actually building your own one-on-one. Because when you do that, then you'll actually build your own discernment. You'll build your prayer life. You'll start sharpening your own skills. And that's what we're here to do. Sharpen up your shield, your skills, your sword. Yeah. 
your Batman belt, every utility you yeah. need. <laughs> everything that God has given you, your gifts, everything. We're here to try and help sharpen in any type of way possible so that when that time comes, you're ready to cut the double head off. Yeah. It's simple. Because the enemy going to know when you're faking it. Mm-hmm. For Boy, sure. Right? He's going to know. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work. You gonna be, You can't. All that fake stuff, it ain't going to work. He's going to be like, man, because the enemy knows the word too. And I think that's the biggest thing about this podcast is you guys not just – listening to this podcast as a supplement for you reading your word, but this podcast being the catalyst for you to get in your word and you be a disciple and you start something in your state. Facts. You start something in your city because Facts. the more souls we touch is the more souls you will touch mm. and God wins, everybody wins, you know? So we don't want this to just be a motivational episode where you just, I feel good and the next day you continue to do what you do. Like, yeah. no, mm-hmm. it's a lifestyle. It's a real walk. We want you to be able to leave here with something that you can apply to your life right away and then tell somebody else about it. And that's how the good news is spread right there. We're all ambassadors for Christ. Yeah. Yep. Pick up your cross. Yeah. Simple as that. <clears throat> and most importantly, for those that's watching, we really want y'all to understand why we're really all here. And that's for you to have your own personal relationship with God and get to know the God that we serve. And if that was you, I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I confess that I am a sinner. I believe in my heart that you died on the cross for my sins and also rose after the third day. Now I accept you into my life, come into my life, and change my heart. Lord, I am yours. And if you repeat it after me, you are now saved. And we just want to clap and say congratulations. Yes, sir. Because you have entered into the kingdom of God. Congrats. Yeah. Welcome to the family. And as always, I know the vibes. It's always more purpose. You just have to find yours. Yes, sir. We gone. We love y'all. We appreciate uh, y'all. Get, get out, baby. Yes, sir. Get out. I got to do the Tim Brothers, too. <laughs> <laughs> Love y'all. <laughs>